It's my great honour to welcome to the dais Ambassador Dave Sharma on his very first official engagement in Israel. As Philip mentioned before, Dave arrived here on the 16th of June, just a few days ago, and has um, settled himself and his family with three young children in Hatsmia already. He has an illustrious and stellar career for I, I hate to keep saying how young you are, but, but in such a short short time, a stellar career with international postings, diplomatic postings in both Washington and Papua New Guinea, now as ambassador to, uh, of Australia to Israel, the youngest Australian ambassador I believe in history, right? That's right. So we're very proud <laughs> and welcome you to the Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank you, Janelle, for, for those uh, very kind words of introduction. Uh, Rabbi Lippman, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Um, you've got a great story, and I think, in terms of the success of the young age you've far outdone me. I've got a lot to learn from you. Um, Dave, thank you for your welcome uh, this evening. Um, Australia, where I'm from, uh, prides itself on the ability of our culture and institutions to, um, to absorb new migrants and to be a successful multicultural society. But, after just over a week in Israel, I realised that we've got a lot to learn from this country. I think um, Israel's ability to um, uh, absorb um, people and communities and migrants uh, from all walks of life, from all parts of the world, and yet still retain such a strong Jewish identity and traditions and culture is a, is a remarkable story. Um, and it's something that my country, Australia, can certainly learn a great deal from. Um, Australia, um, as you probably know, is, is um, sent um, a large number of Olim to uh, Israel over the years. I think uh, um, it's about 10,000 uh, in total, which makes us um, one of the um, one of the highest rates of um, Aliyah in, uh, in the Western world on a, on a per capita basis. And um, organisations uh, like the one that Philip runs, the Zionist Federation of Australia, play a, a hugely important role in helping to foster that. Um, and the cooperation uh, agreement that's been reached with Pelford, I think, will, will, um, will, will help that a great deal. Um, moving to a new country is uh, is never easy. Um, Rabbi Lippman, you had a you had a story, and I can only imagine how uh, uh, how it must have been for you getting on that plane. I'm sure a lot of the Olim here um, have s stories like that or similar that I'd be very keen to hear later in the evening. Um, I've just moved here uh, with three young children. I have the, the whole government and embassy behind me, and I know it's not easy. <laughs> um, so I've just got tremendous admiration for those of you who've um, who've made that decision. Um, uh, for a whole host of reasons, um, all of them very admirable, and, and who've made a real success of it and, and made a life for yourselves. So congratulations to, to each and every one of you. Um, the, the, the Australian community in Israel um, is, uh, is is successful. It's high profile. Um, there's a lot of very um, uh, influential and successful Australians in all walks of life here in Israel: in politics, in business, uh, uh, in civil society, um, in. Uh, NGO sector and human rights organisations as lawyers, as doctors. It's an amazing community. Um, as much as anything, um, I see myself not only as um, the ambassador to the state and the government of Israel, um, but also to the, the Australian community in Israel. Um, and I'd like, um, particularly the Australians here, but um, all, all people for that matter, to see me as such and to call upon me. Um, I, do, I do take an interest in the, um, the welfare of all the Australians here, including the, those, um, those who've made Alia. And I do want to stay in touch and, uh, and, and, and be of service to you on, on there as your ambassador as much as I am for, for the government back home in Canberra. Thank you for having me this evening. It's one of my first official functions. It's a great honour to do, do something like this on, uh, on my first outing. Thank you again. Thank you.